This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to Sunday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. I think if it gets much heavier, we'll have to turn back. It's rain, David, not snow. It's sleet. It's still not a great excuse for failing to turn up. Oh, why do we even need an excuse? We're grown-ups. Surely we can just say if we don't want to go. I think it might be fun. A winter blues party. Doesn't sound too bad. At Vince Casey's house? Mm. Sounds awful to me. Well, what else would you be doing tonight? Not enough in front of the TV. <laughs> Yeah, exactly that. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We've hardly been further than Felpsham in the last two years. I'm ready for a bit of a road trip. <laughs> it's hardly sunset on Route 66. <laughs> oh, come on, David. Elizabeth's going to be there. Oh, I'll get a bit more insight into the real Vince Casey. Hmm. What do you think his style is? Stone cladding and furry toilet seats. Taxidermy and a sunken hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to us. We'll start complaining about new money next. <laughs> you know what I don't understand is how on earth Ben managed to get out of tonight. An understanding girlfriend. He can't turn up at Borsetshire General tomorrow with a fuzzy head. Especially not on the first day of his placement. Mm. Maybe if I had a more understanding wife, she'd have realised that I can't service the pulsators tomorrow without my full eight hours sleep. Maybe. But the wife you have got has had enough of your morning and wants one night away from the farm with her lovely husband. <laughs> and if the Casey Winter Blues party is all that's on offer, let's make the best of it. Josh! You're back. Mum said you'd gone out for the day with Rosie. Do you know where she is? I can't find either her or Dad. Vince Casey's party. Ugh, but Mum hasn't done the barn. She's not even started it. Did she say anything to you before she left? When I last saw her, she was putting on lipstick and shouting at Dad to polish his shoes. Ugh, but she knows we really need to bring down the in-car feathers tomorrow. Maybe she just ran out of time. Ugh, brilliant. Brilliant. When I was stressing about it, she said, go and have a nice day with Rosie. You know, she promised she'd get it done. And did you have a nice day? Well, actually... Yeah, yeah, we did. I mean, have you ever tried knocking a three-year-old off a bouncy apple with a big purple pole? No. Bush, it should bounce. Rosie was pretending to be a frog jumping across inflatable fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better than scraping out a hen house. Chicken muck and disinfectant. Smell me, go on. Oh, Josh. I smell like the urinals at the cattle market. Ugh. I'd have a shower, but I've still got to check the temperature for the hens then replace the broken bulbs, and then... I just wish Mum had texted once she knew she wasn't going to get the barn done. I'd have come back earlier. At least hosed it down before tomorrow. Look, stop stressing. I'm sure she'll do it in the morning. No, she's got the meeting about that carbon audit tomorrow. And I'm supposed to be getting the calf pens and feeders ready. And phoning the milk buyer and uh, after I get back from dropping Rosie at nursery. Well, I'd love to help. Oh, yeah. thank you, George. But I can't. Oh, come on. Please? If we don't get the heifers in, we can't monitor their diet. An early calving outside, how bad would that be in this rain? Surely you can spare a couple of hours. Absolutely not. Don't even think about it. I've hardly started on the cleaning for the stock turnaround. But that can wait. This can't. Then do it now if you're that worried. I'll, I'll help you get the power hose set up. I can't do it now. Rosie needs a bath. She's basically a bundle of stickiness and grime. Oh, I was really looking forward to us snuggling up with her for bedtime stories and then having a glass of wine in an early night. Now I've got this to worry about. Really, Pip? You want to try running your own business? You all expect me to drop everything at the click of a finger. Josh, drive the tractor. Oh, leave that for Josh. Josh can change the liners in the clusters. You offered to do that. Because you make me feel guilty when I'm working for myself. As if I'm betraying Brookfield or something. What? No. <sighs> I, I just sometimes wonder how much you actually care about the farm. <laughs> or if you just see it as a convenient, cheap place for your hens. Is that what you're telling Mum and Dad? 
So you get Bert's bungalow. Oh, shut up. Oh, now what? Oh, no. What is it? A new customer. A chef the other side of Borsetshire. She's claiming I missed the first delivery to her yesterday. And did you? No. It was supposed to start next Saturday. I actually spoke to her. Which, of course, means I can't prove anything. Oh, I need to give her a call. And this is my granny annex. <laughs> so, now you've had the full tour, what do you think of the Casey Casa? Hmm? All the beauty of the Licky Hills, but with Birmingham just a stone's throw away. It's impressive. It really is. And I love this room. Oh, thanks, Bab. I'm a very lucky woman. <laughs> I must talk to Vince about his speaker setup. I wouldn't mind that surround sound at Brookfield. The views must be great, whatever the weather. Vince was determined that the morning sun would come flooding through my conservatory. That's why the plants are thriving. This big one with the orange flowers. My bird of paradise. It's like something you'd see at Kew Gardens. Though it's my little bonsais on the terrace that I'm most proud of. I'll show you on the way back to the main house. Oh, now what am I thinking? Hardly the hostess with the mostest. Let's head back to the party and I can fill up your glasses. Oh, uh, no more for me, thank you. I'm driving. But I wouldn't say no to another of those grilled prawns in a cone. Ruth, David. Vince said you'd arrive. Hi. Hey. Elizabeth, I've been giving them the grand tour. Ah, it's wonderful, isn't it? You know, it, it's easy to forget that there is a world beyond the farm. I'm surprised how good it feels to leave it all behind, even if just for an evening. Especially since we've had to put up with Josh and Pip bickering all week. <laughs> well, there is a downside to grown-up children still hanging around. Some days I think Freddie and Lily are worse than ever. I just try to avoid getting drawn in. Well, from what I've seen of your children, I think they're all very well brought up. Oh, thank you, Iris. And you're Ben. Oh, he seems such a nice, capable lad. It's a shame he couldn't be here tonight. I think our Beth is quite smitten. <laughs> Born on the bayou, I love this. Come on, David, come and dance. What, me? Yeah, why not? I'm not suggesting something radical. It is a party. Come on. All right. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Pip, are you mad? What are you doing out here? I'm trying to clear the drain before the water overflows from the yard into the Hereford shed. But if the drain's blocked, it's just going to keep backing up. Obviously, but I can't just leave it. You can't stay out here all night. Uh, I know. But Rosie's asleep in the house. Toby and Rex really picked the wrong week to go away. I thought Rex was back. No, not until Thursday. Pip, we should leave it. The flooding will have to get a fair bit worse before it's a real problem. Why don't you go back to Rosie in your cosy evening and I'll get on cozy with... Cosy evening? Josh, I'm drenched. So am I. And I've got 30 dozen eggs to pack up. Oh, your annoying chef. She's insisting I bring them at the crack of dawn, so I really <laughs> don't have time to get sidetracked by drains. Right. No, I get it. No, forget Brookfield, as long as you protect your own little business. What? Yeah. I spent a huge part of this afternoon helping Dad change the liners while you went out for the day. With my daughter? On a Sunday? Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. I think it's great you had such a chilled time. Just don't start questioning whether I pull my weight on the farm. But you don't. I mean, you don't even have milking to do at the moment. I don't get how you've let yourself get so behind. <gasps> let myself... You forget it. I'll do what you do. Just leave it. If the Herefords are standing knee-deep in water tomorrow, who cares? What's a bit of fowl in the foot as long as your precious chef can scramble her eggs? Oh, yeah. oh that's better. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. <laughs> Where on earth did those moves come from, David? <laughs> well, didn't let Vince be the unchallenged alpha male of the dance floor. Not sure alpha male is how I'd describe either of you. <laughs> Well, maybe we should do Vince a deal. Swap the farm and all our children for this place. Clean lines, landscape garden, champagne in the hot tub. Well, if he throws in the griddled prawns, I'm all for it. <laughs> Who do you think would keep it going? What, keep what going? The farm. Oh. If we ran off into the sunset, which one of them do you think could manage the farm? Pip? Josh? 
Ben. Hang on, I'm not ready to throw in the towel just yet. <laughs> anyway, I can't see us ever retiring. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun, David. If you had to put money on it, who would it be? Cool Farm Brookfield when we finally keel over. Um, well, Pip, probably. Although well, she could go off at a right angle. She has form. You mean the rewilding? Or I'll meet a farmer from Australia or Iowa and run off with him. <laughs> Josh, then, he settled down, making a real go of the hens at Holotry. Not Ben. I'd say he's the rank outsider. But, who knows... At least we get good odds on him. <laughs> Josh! Josh, come and have a look. It's way deeper. Oh, I see what you mean. I thought I'd check on the Herefords before I went to bed and I had to slosh through all this. This drain's been a pain for months. Yeah, yeah, I tried clearing it just now, but it's made no difference. It must be jammed somewhere much deeper. I, I know you're worried about it getting in the shed, but realistically, what are the chances? Well, if I'd known you were an expert in floodwater management, I'd have handed the whole problem over to you earlier. I'm trying to be nice, uh, Pip. But I don't want Mum and Dad coming home to this, thinking we can't cope with a rainstorm. I still think it's mad to do anything now, in the dark. It'll be easier for you to unblock it in the daylight. For me to unblock it? I can't do it. I've got Rosie to get to nursery, and then I've got to sort the barn before I even start on my actual list of jobs. Well, I can't do it either. You'll have to fess up and leave it to Dad. Great. I was mad busy before that chef texted. Now I've got her delivery to fit in on top of everything else. Sometimes I think you imagine I just scatter a bit of chicken feed and that's job done. You know, I feel like I've been on holiday. What happened to me grumpy husband? The one that was going to turn back because it was raining. Ah. Well, the next time I say I'd rather have a cup of tea and a piece of toast, remind me that I'm actually a party animal. <laughs> I think maybe that's the canopy is talking. No, I mean it. What do you think about having something at Brookfield? We get together. Yeah, why not? Let's make more use of the barn. Why does it always have to be a pint at the bull in an early night? I'm not old yet. I think we'd prove that tonight. Yeah. It's a long time since I've seen you doing the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> David! Ah! 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 